Spivak is critical of how mainstream education and the Western literary canon often overlook imperialist assumptions. She argues that there's a deliberate ignoring of this issue, and it's considered acceptable, which she calls sanctioned ignorance. Spivak believes that this ignorance contributes to the continuation of colonialist structures. In her view, anyone critiquing imperialism should carefully examine and expose this sanctioned ignorance in their studies, particularly in understanding the relationship between the third world and the first world. She highlights that this sanctioned ignorance is particularly evident in the Western study of the Third World Oriental or Subaltern, where perspectives are filtered through a selective lens. Spivak suggests that this issue extends beyond the study of non-Western societies, and is present in the broader application of normative theories. These theories, often originating in specific cultural and historical contexts, are unquestioningly applied to all situations without considering their appropriateness. The term sanctioned ignorance goes beyond suggesting a mere oversight, it implies purposeful silencing and dismissing of certain contexts as irrelevant. This is not necessarily about individual intentions, but reflects an institutionalized way of thinking that excludes certain types of analysis or considerations from entering into the academic discussion.